Welcome to Philip Capital Weekly Market Watch. I'm Alice, Global Market Specialist from Philip Securities Global Markets. Let's have a brief review on China, Asia, and Hong Kong equity markets' performance for the past few days. Compared to the previous four months of continuous rise, Asia has entered into a consolidation stage in September. The Shanghai Composite Index fell 0.54%, while Shenzhen Component Index rose 1.9% in September. In addition, Asia market has been closed for one week due to the National Day. For the specific performance of each index, SSE 50 index received the largest gains, increasing 16.85% year-to-date while Chinex index fell 4.85% year-to-date and performed the worst. In the third quarter of this year, the SME index had the largest increase among all the indices. As for the sector's performance, the raw material sector was attractive in the third quarter. It increased nearly 18% and was far ahead of the other sectors. In addition, consumer staples financials, and information technology sectors have outperformed the CSI 300 index. On the contrary, real estate, utilities, and healthcare sectors have slightly declined in last three months. Let's look at the Hong Kong market. The Hansen index has risen for three days during the closure of Asia market, and it hit a new high price in nearly 10 years. The climbing price is also accompanied with large trading volume. Mainboard turnover exceeded 100 billion Hong Kong dollars in one trading day. Compared to the major global equity markets, Hang Seng Index was far ahead of the other indices and rose nearly 28% since the beginning of this year, mainly contributed by the mainland real estate and banking sectors. It is worth mentioning that China's central bank announced to cut the reserve requirement ratio for some banks last week, which stimulated the banking and insurance sectors in Hong Kong market. For individual stocks, unicorn company Zhongan Online was listed in Hong Kong Stock Exchange in 28 September. The IPO got nearly 400 times over subscription, and the price rose nearly 15% in free market before listing. Its new economic concept has attracted a lot of investors. The share price rose nearly 18% once it started trading on the secondary market, and the gains narrowed a bit in the afternoon. Last Wednesday, the stock rose 20% and closed at 80.4 Hong Kong dollars with a turnover of 3.31 billion Hong Kong dollars. Many investors bet that this China's largest online insurer will subvert the pattern of China's insurance industry. With this, we have come to the end of this week's Market Watch. For more information on global equities, you may approach any representative from Philip Global Markets. Subscribe to us on Philip Capital YouTube channel and Facebook for more Market Watch videos. Thank you.